Last week, I released a video on the best affiliate marketing programs for bloggers, and I got some really great feedback from you guys, particularly from those of you on my email list saying how excited you were to get started with affiliate marketing. But one question I kept getting asked over and over again this past week was, how do I add affiliate links to my blog posts once I have them? So this video is going to show you exactly how to do that. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Maureen. I help new and growing female entrepreneurs build a profitable blogging business on WordPress without stress. So if you want tips and tutorials on building a blogging business, hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you are the first to know when I post a new video each and every week. Today, I'm going to be sharing my screen with you and showing you step by step how to add affiliate links and affiliate banners to your WordPress blog posts. Now, this video tutorial comes directly from my course, A Blogging Business Blueprint, which teaches you everything you need to start and grow a profitable blogging business on WordPress without wasting tons of time and money trying to figure out the strategy and tech on your own. Now, this course will be reopening this summer, so if you are short on time and want step-by-step -step tutorials to lay a profitable blogging foundation and fast-track your success, then this is 100% for you. Get on the wait list, or if you are watching this at a later time, check if it is currently open by going to thecreativeimpact.com forward slash BBB. All right, let me share my screen with you, and let's get into how to add affiliate links and banners to your blog posts. Okay, the first thing you want to do is log into your WordPress dashboard and then open up the blog post where you want to add your affiliate links or start a new blog post from your WordPress dashboard if you're starting from scratch. So we'll come down to posts and for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to just be adding affiliate links to one of my blog posts that I've already written. So I'm going to go to all posts. Now, as always, I recommend writing your blog post within your default WordPress block editor, not your page builder. Page builders like Divi or Elementor, they're, they're great for creating pages and amazing features on your site. But for your actual blog posts, you want to be writing them in your default WordPress Gutenberg block editor. I have found it works so much better for formatting your posts, how things are laid out. It works better across all devices and in turn helps with your SEO as well. All right, so I'm going to choose a post that I've already created for this tutorial. I'm going to go to edit because again, we're using the block editor. I'm not going to edit in Divi, which is my page builder. Okay, so here is my blog post and I'm going to scroll to the place where I want to insert one of my affiliate links. So let's see, I think I was going to do it right down here. Yes, the host that I recommend for beginner bloggers is Bluehost. So I want to make this um, my affiliate link. I'm an affiliate for Bluehost. So if someone clicks on this link, it's going to take them to the Bluehost site via my link. So if they decide to purchase, I will get a percentage of the sale. Okay, so I'm going to add in my Bluehost link. Now, it doesn't matter what affiliate program you sign up for. The process to do this is the same. You're going to be given a specific link and you will add it into your blog post the same way. So whatever affiliate program you're using at the time, you log into your affiliate program dashboard. For me, for Bluehost, let's go into there. This is my tracking link right here. So I will highlight that and copy it. Now, I highly recommend creating a spreadsheet of all your different affiliate programs you're a part of as you grow and putting your link to each of these next to it for easy access so you don't have to log in each time that you want to add an affiliate link. And depending on the affiliate program you are working with, you may be able to cloak your links to something easier to remember when you're, you're sharing them. I teach my students how to do this with the plug in pretty links. So my, I do have a pretty link for Bluehost, uh, which is thecreativeimpact.com forward slash Bluehost, which is a lot easier to share than this www.bluehost.com forward slash track forward slash the creative impact. Now I know if you're an affiliate for Amazon, you cannot cloak their links with pretty links, but many other programs you can just check each of your affiliate programs policies regarding this. Okay, so once you have your link highlighted, again, you're just gonna copy it and then you're gonna go back to your blog post 
and you're going to highlight what you want to link. So again, we'll just highlight Bluehost. And then up here, you're going to see this little thing. I always say it looks like a paper clip. You're going to click that. And then what's going to come up is this box. Now, before you paste in your code here, you're going to click open in new tab. And you're also going to click over search engines to ignore this mark as no follow. And the reason you want to click over this no follow if you're putting in a lot of affiliate links within your blog post, it's because of SEO purposes. So <laughs> to put it simply, when you are linking out to a site a bunch of times, like if I put a lot of links throughout here to Bluehost, then the, the bot crawlers that crawl these search engines are going to see that I'm constantly linking out to Bluehost, which then gives Bluehost like a lot of link juice, like backlinks, which are good things. This is getting a little bit more in depth, but then they're going to think that, you know, Bluehost might be paying me to do this. And it just, long story short, it just looks bad. So what you want to do is click over this no follow button when you're using affiliate links. Um, just, it's going to help with your SEO purposes. You don't have to do this when you're linking to other um, blog posts that you have or to other people's site if you're just linking once within your post. But if you're using your affiliate link throughout your blog post, which I do recommend, you're going to want to click over this no follow so you don't get penalized with SEO stuff. Okay. Once those two things are clicked over, then right here, you're going to right click, paste in your link. Then you actually have to click it right here. So it pops in. And then you will see that the link has come in because it's going to turn blue with an underline. Now, another way that you can check it is to come up here to preview and we're going to preview it in a new tab. So we'll scroll down to that spot. It was under number two. We can see Bluehost is highlighted. When we click on it, it's going to open in that new window. And I didn't really explain why we want to open a new window, but you don't want to take the person away from the blog post they're reading. So opening it in a new window is really nice because it just opens it in a separate tab so they can always go right back to your blog post. Now, once it opens, you can check in the um, URL here. You can see that my affiliate link is in here within the URL with the Creative Impact. So I know that if they do go through this link and purchase that I will get a commission from it. Okay, now if your affiliate program has things like banners like this that you want to put on your site, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Now, every affiliate program is different. It might not have banners. I just, I'm gonna show you how to install a banner if your affiliate program does have that. So you'd go back to your affiliate program find the banner you want. I think, I think this is the one I'd use. You'd highlight that code that they give you and it will have your information in there and you're going to copy it. And then you'll go back to your post and you can see this right now, this is that code um, that when you come to the publish page, here it is. So I'm just going to show you how to add that. So you would just come down to your, to your plus, add the block, type in HTML, custom HTML. And then right here is where you'd paste that code. Okay. So now when you preview it, it's right there. Okay. So you can preview it that way. Um, or you can come over here to the preview again in the new tab. And we'll probably have two ads here now because we have two codes. So yes, now they're on top of each other like this and like this banner. So you can see how it, how you can add different banners. So I'm just going to go back in and I'm going to delete this one because I don't want two of them. And that is how you would add a banner with HTML. Now, lastly, I want to show you how to specifically add Amazon links in because I know that a lot of new bloggers start out with Amazon. You can recommend anything on Amazon. I'm just gonna come in for the purposes of this tutorial, add a paragraph block here, and I'm gonna pretend I'm, I'm recommending a, a book I'm reading. So in the book, Atomic Habits, which is this amazing book I'm finishing up reading right now. Yada, 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 yada. Okay, so we're gonna say we're talking about Atomic Habits. I'm going to make this a little bigger. Okay. So if I wanted to highlight this book and link to it on Amazon, here is how I would do it. 
So I'll come back here and I'll just go to amazon.com. Now you do have to set up your Amazon associates. You know, you have to be approved and go through the whole process. But once you do, you'll have something like this at the top of your Amazon site. This is my Amazon Stripe. So anytime I type something in like, oh, look, Atomic Habits is right there in the bottom. Um, I can link it from up here. So you'll, you'll do a search and here's the book. And what I can do is I can, I'll click on it, open it up. And um, what I would do then is come up here to get the text link. So you can get the image if you want, or you can get the image with this. I feel like this looks a little salesy. I don't like how that looks. I usually just do the text and I would copy this link. So you can see it says store ID and tracking ID. So this is, this is all part of my tracking and this is my link. So I copy that link, go back to my site and then do the same thing. I'd highlight what I wanted to link, click the link button, open a new tab, no follow, paste it in and then click on it. And you have to remember to click on it or else it won't um, link. Like if we didn't click on this and we just did that, it wouldn't link. So you have to highlight it, click the link, paste, and then actually click on that right box right there. Okay, so now in this book, Atomic Habits, blah, 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 blah. Let's preview that. Where do we put it in here? Okay, in this book, Atomic Habits. So now when we click on this, it's gonna open in a new window and it's gonna take us right to the book. And you can see in that link, it says link code tag. Um, this, is, this is part of my affiliate link. So I know that it's linking the right way. And that is how you add affiliate links and banners to your blog posts. Now, each affiliate program's links will look a little bit different, but in the back end dashboard of each affiliate program that you are part of, you're going to be given that specific link that is unique to you. And this link will be tracked and will report to your dashboard when a sale is made. Okay, guys, I hope that video was helpful to you. And again, if you haven't already, check out my affiliate marketing playlist that will come up at the end of this video for my recommendations on the best affiliate marketing programs for bloggers. Then sign up for a few affiliate programs and start adding your links to your blog posts as shown in this video so you can have a new stream of income coming into your blogging business as you grow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.